fucking scatter blast and they're all gonna be stuck on the stairs. Alright, that was amazing. I do have my mask, so I'm not that worried. But uh yep, time to go. Look at that dust cloud. Right there. That is so crazy. Look at that. And that's why I'm wearing a mask. All right, let's get going. Holy crap. Don't worry, that's my air conditioner vent not working because I'm cool like that. Look at that dust cloud. That might be the last you see of me. Oh, what's up everybody? So it is currently 1.33 in the morning. I am driving downtown Las Vegas. It is Wednesday, October the 9th. They are going to implode what's left of the Tropicana buildings. I don't know if you can see me right now, but I'm in the car. So I got my map on my phone. I'm going to go try to drive to a location and see if I can get down to wherever I can get to in order to watch this implosion and I'm going to record it for you. So that's my current goal. So we will see you downtown somewhere when I make it there. Let's go. I want to see a building explode. I guess it would be implode. So long story short, as a kid, if I knew demolition of buildings was something that I could do for a living, I probably would have done it. It would have been pretty cool. And therefore, I've never actually ever seen a building implode, and so now's my opportunity. Downtown Las Vegas, 2024, October 9th, at 2.30 in the morning. They are gonna fly drones above the building. There's two of them, what's left of the building. And they're gonna fly drones above there, like 250 drones or something like that, 150 drones, I don't remember. A lot of drones, and shoot off some fireworks and implode these buildings. Um, my goal is to not get too close because these buildings did have asbestos in them. They did clean them out, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I do have a N52 mask here, and I will be wearing it. Could have brought a, like a full-blown respirator, but honestly, I plan on being further away than that. And if the dust cloud gets that bad, uh, that I have made a mistake. I should not be down there. So I should be pretty far away. I'm probably going to be about a mile away is my guesstimate right now. So I will let you know when I get down there. Oh, and my camera is blurry. If it gets blurry while I'm filming, I'm going to be mad. Remind me to set the autofocus. All right, let's get downtown. Oh, I've made it downtown. Now I gotta get through the city and get over there got about 10 minutes to go see you when we get there for those of you who've never seen that big giant sphere there it is it's pretty big I've never been inside of it or know nothing really about it but uh yeah it exists and it is right there and my goodness is it large <laughs> look how big it is so big and so yellow. All right, I gotta get back to driving. All right, I managed to make it down here. People are parking in this dirt lot. So my plan was to park in the parking lot across the street, right here, but it did not work. So I am actually, right there is the buildings that are being imploded, and you can see where I'm parked. So I'm gonna try to walk down here or something. Let's go see what we can see. By the way, there's the, rest of the sphere over there pretty cool it's the moon right now all right it is currently about two o'clock in the morning so let's go find a spot so we can watch it let's do it all right it is uh 10 3 i'm walking down let's just see how close we can get i have no idea made it to the parking garage 
I don't know where, for your reference point, Spheres right there. I parked way over there, down by that street light. And there's the buildings. There is one bad piece of news. The wind is blowing this way. <laughs> but I have my mask, so I'm okay with that. Let's see if we can get our camera set up somewhere. There's the MGM. So we are right across from it. I can only see... It's hard to see the other building behind the other side, so let's go see what we can see. The, uh, the gate to the entrance to get up the stairs here was cracked open. I don't know how the rest of these people got up here, but they all have a place to sit. There's quite a few people up against that side. Let's just go find a good spot where we can put the camera. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna hang out for that. <laughs> that would be weird if the, if the drone and the fireworks happen after the explosion. That would be anticlimactic. That, yeah, well, that's that. Well, yeah, I was thinking, oh, this doesn't make no sense. No, no, we gotta have the small arms fire first. It's going! Fireworks.
seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Do it. Oh, how funny would that be? Nothing works. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> and since we're getting all of the uh, wonderful fireworks smoke, all the rest of that's coming right towards us. Maybe we should get out of here for a smoke house. Bravo, everyone. Bravo, everyone. All right. Oh. It was fun, but it's time to go. Nice to meet you guys. Be safe. Yeah, man. Everyone's scatter blast and they're all gonna be stuck on the stairs. Alright, that was amazing. I do have my mask, so I'm not that worried. But uh, yep, time to go. It was awesome. Now I'm out. It's like a fat kid in dodgeball. I'm out. All the Firework smoke's coming this way, and so is that cloud. Look at that cloud. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Do you have a car? Yep, look at that cloud. That cloud is coming our way. That is wild. We'll be fine. Alright, all masked up and the cloud is coming. Time to get out of here. Going across the street. I've been practicing for running, remember? I'm good. I just usually have sandals on. Or don't have sandals on. Look at that cloud. You can't even see the street lights. Pretty cool. All right. That was awesome. So you cannot see the dust. You can't see the city. Look at that. I was up there. It's a big old dust cloud up there. We got fresh air out here. So we're probably good. I'm just right there. In the parking. So we'll be fine. 
I don't see the too much of the smoke out here. The haze is pretty far out. We're almost there. All right. In case you're wondering, I did plan my exit route so I didn't have to get stuck in traffic downtown. But you can see the smoke now where the sphere is. And it is coming out. Look at that. We got out of there just in time. I was in that building, which you cannot even see. You can't even see the parking garage. Yeah, buddy. That was so cool. If you're wondering, yes, that was worth getting up crazy early and doing. Huh. We're in like Flynn. Show you one last view before I get going. Look at that dust cloud. Right there. That is so crazy. Look at that. And that's why I'm wearing a mask. Alright, let's get going. Alright you guys, look at that dust cloud coming straight where I was parked. Holy crap. Don't worry, that's my air conditioner vent not working because I'm cool like that. Look at that dust cloud. That might be the last you see of me on this film until I get out of here because I want to pay attention to driving because it could get, get a little crazy. Alright, God bless you guys. Have a good day. I'll see you. When I get home, I'll give you my opinions on the way back. See ya. Okay guys, the sphere is over there for, pers for perspective. If you look this way, it is hard to see, but if you look down that street, you can see that nasty cloud over there. And that is a semi asbestos cloud and I don't want to be anywhere near it. There's the sphere and the big giant uh, high roller Ferris wheel. I got the AC on because I was sweating, because I was running to get out of there, because I did not want to breathe in that stuff. It was coming right towards us. The only thing I wish was that the smoke from the fireworks did not impose on the view. But the actual visuals of like stuff going around and the fireworks and the drones dropping stuff off the heart, did you guys see that? That was pretty cool. So. Was it worth getting up in the middle of the night? It is currently three o'clock in the morning. The answer is, yeah, absolutely. But look at the actual temperature. It's 78 degrees at three o'clock in the morning in Las Vegas right now. Whew. And that's been like cooler days. It has been so hot this summer. The worst summer we've ever had as far as heat is concerned. All right, well back to driving till I get onto the highway. Cheers. Alright you guys, so I'm about to go up over a bridge. I can see in my mirrors this crazy like big cloud behind me. It's pretty wild actually. Huge cloud and uh, I would not want to be downtown right now because that building I think was from the 50s. There was two of them. They were from different time periods. But um, yeah, like literally, like that whole thing was full of asbestos. Yeah, they removed as much as they possibly could, but I'm sure there was some stuff here and there. Either way, that concrete dust cannot be a good thing to breathe. So that was freaking awesome. I am going to go home. I'm going to go to bed, and then I'm going to get back up and. And, uh, go to work. I got a long couple of days ahead of me, so uh, wish me uh, wish me well restedness. I'll get this video uploaded as soon as I can. I recorded it on my phone, but ran out of storage space. Imagine that. And then, uh, yeah, here we are. 
I could see the plume of fire, smoke, and regular smoke, but that's all I know for now. God bless. Have a good day. Bye. Can you see the dust cloud? I can't look. I'm driving. The dust cloud should be over there somewhere. Oh, you can see the dust cloud from here. Oh, heck yeah, you can. It's spreading out in both directions. Woo! I would not want to be down there.